Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making bulgogi patties. And I'm going to give you guys a couple of ideas of what else you can do with these patties besides just a burger. So if you guys want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. So these are the ingredients that you guys need to make at least four burger patties. I am making eight, so I'll be using more than what I've given you guys right here. So let's get started. All right, I already have my ground beef they have been pre-packed and frozen and I went ahead and defrosted these these are about a pound each in each ziploc bag that I am using again I am doubling the ingredients here so don't mind what I am doing right here with all of my ingredients because it, obviously it's going to be doubled and as always make sure you use your substitutes to keep this gluten free and diabetic friendly for those that need it now I'll be starting off with my soy sauce um, I couldn't find the right measuring tools for all of these. I don't know what's happening to them. They suddenly disappear in the kitchen. Does this anybody? It's like socks when you do laundry. When you do laundry, the socks don't match anymore or the lids on your Tupperware, they're all gone. I don't know what happens to them. And the same thing just happened with all of my like measuring cups and measuring spoons. So I'm kind of having to eyeball everything, but I know what I am doing, so don't worry about this part. <laughs> Sorry about that random rant. But continuing on, I've got my soy sauce in there. I'm adding my sesame oil right into the dish as well. And then my Splenda for me, again, use whatever you guys like to use in, the, in this case. Add your pepper to taste. I gave you guys an idea about how much you want to use, but add pepper to taste. That's up to you. I know you don't have to use the kind that I'm using, just whatever black pepper it is that you have. You guys know again about my garlic. I go ahead and just have them minced up and then I just throw them in there. But I want to show you guys my new pack of garlic that I need to defrost and let it melt a bit so I can put it back into a container right into the fridge. And now our onions. Mince these up, chop them up, whatever it is that you want to do. Just however you want to cut them basically. But I'm going to go ahead and just chop mine up into like bigger chunks. I'm not trying to deceive my kids. They know it's in there. They don't have a problem with vegetables or eating vegetables. So it works out and they loved it. But go ahead again and chop these right up and then throw this right into your bowl as well. Mine was a very full like half cupish. So you should, I guess you guys would be using about a quarter cup of chopped onions if uh, you wanted to measure it out. You guys know I like to use my gloves. So clean gloves, clean hands, whatever it is that you want to use and go ahead and start mixing everything up together. All the soy sauce or any liquid that you see there is all going to be marinating inside of your meat so you're not going to have any liquid in your bowl left once you're done putting all of this together. I did go ahead and speed this part up a little bit for you guys because you don't really need to see this, right? But I'm showing you anyways because the only part I wanted you to see is how I am folding the beef over every time we try to mix it. And the only reason I'm doing that because I feel like it'll mess with the texture if you squish it together with your hands instead and I don't like that. I also added a little bit of cornstarch. Again, just fold this right into the mix until you don't see any more cornstarch left in your ground beef mix. But the only reason why I did that is to help bind the meat together so it doesn't fall apart when we actually start cooking it on the stove top. Now go ahead and grab a plate, throw a piece of parchment paper on there because we're going to have to let this sit in the refrigerator for a little while and you don't want the meat to stick to your plate. I'm also showing you guys a measuring cup just to show you how I kind of measure it out so that I can have equally sized patties when I put them together. You see what I'm doing here? Stuff it. If it's too much, go ahead and just wipe off the excess, put it in your clean hand and then shape it with your other hand. That's it. You guys know how to do this, right? I'm not sure if you do or don't. I probably didn't know this for a long time, so I'm just showing you anyways. But all we're gonna do is just squish it down, make it as flat as you want or as thick as you want. It's really up to you. It's, there's just really your preference for everything. And we're just gonna do this with every single patty. Again, this one, I'm just showing you the four right here. I'm not gonna show you the other four that I did do. But I went ahead and just go ahead and use my measuring cup wiped off anything excess, shaped it with my hand, and I'm just gonna throw it all onto the plate right here. And now you're gonna have about four equal size burger patties, nicely shaped right there in front of you. I did end up letting mine sit overnight in the fridge just because 
something bad happened to me, but I'm okay now. But um, it's the next day for me, and I went ahead and used a griddle pan right on my stove top. I've never used this before, so I had it cooking on medium high. I would suggest going at medium. I don't know. I guess it depends on your griddle pan or your pan or whatever whatever utensil or whatever tool or pan, whatever it is that you're using to cook with. So I decided I wanted to try something different and I ended up using a small bowl that's shallow with a piece of plastic right on top of it and I'm using day old rice and all you're gonna do is just put as much rice as you want or need in there. Go ahead and press it all down, break it up a little bit and what I did with mine was uh, microwave it and then I came back with this and you guys will see all of a sudden there's steam in there, right? So you're gonna cover it up, fold all your plastic in, and use another flat bottom bowl and flatten it out to make a flat burger patty. Let me show you guys. Ta-da! Look at that. Little burger patty thingy going on. So all we need to do is heat up our, this is why it was blank down here, by the way. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my burgers and then I will show you guys that I'm gonna go ahead and cook my rice patties right on the bottom uh, well, I guess your right screen, right part of the screen. You'll see. I am just having a lot of trouble speaking today, no matter how many times I stop and re-record. I am so sorry, guys. <laughs> but go ahead and spray down your pan before you put your rice on there, your rice patty. And then we're going to flip it over. Well, not like that, but <laughs> flip it over carefully. And because it's rice and it's sticky, it doesn't matter because we can just smush it all right back together. Check this out. There we go. You're gonna have, want to see it brown a little bit on the top and on the bottom so that you know that it's cooked a little bit so it's gonna stick together on the bottom and the top so you can actually hold it and eat it. Now all we have to do is plate this together and as you guys can see here, I did a loco moco style with this with the bulgogi patty, a fried egg on top and I just made some gravy or you can get a store bought gravy thing and put that right on top of your rice as well. and. The other option you can do is just instead of making the patties, just cook it in a pan, break it up, add some sesame seeds and some green onions right into it, and make a bulgogi beef bowl over rice. But this was the purpose of my bulgogi patty. I wanted to make a burger. So <laughs> this is how it turned out. We loved it. Just add your favorite toppings on there. Again, I just threw a fried egg right on top of mine as well with some lettuce. And if you want to stir fry some kimchi into that, you can do that as well. Or just add whatever condiments it is that you prefer. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you again for watching. Watch me cook.